Um, hello and welcome to the Seafoam Isles Draft League Season 2, Week 8. This match is between Tiller, coach of the Rebellious Beautifly, and Danny, coach of the Prig Pidgeot. The Mega Pokemon in this game are, let us see, Mega Altaria, who's not appearing for the second week in a row. What? What? Crazy. <laughs> and Mega Bennett. Neither are coming. Arcanine, not coming, which is a Z Captain. Sylveon is. I think Sylveon is a Z Captain. No, Heliolus is. What? No, I think it's still Sylveon. It's just the docks being good. I'm going to say Sylveon. And if it's not, then it's Heliolisk, who's not coming. But Sylveon is. So that will just make a little bit of uneasiness. <laughs> but anyways, for Tiller, the Z Pokemon, are Z, any Sand Slash, Z, Attack, Bulu, both came. So all Zs on the floor for Tiller here. So, looking at this matchup, Obstagoon slays. There's only one resist to each of its respective stabs. And Bronzong gets absolutely cooked by knockoff. So, I have no clue how Danny is going to play around Obstagoon because Facade is absolutely disgustingly nuclear here. And Knockoff destroys the only Facade Sledge. <laughs> so, oh, that's looking really hard just out the gate. Melmetal exists, which is, you know, annoying for Danny. Though, it's a lot easier to handle having Bronzong because. Levitate kind of just nullifies anything. Well, I guess Darkest Lariat can hit it. So there's that. But I'm not sure. Urshifu's always going to be a threat. Poison Jab is just extra effective here. Because double fairies. And U-Turn. Like, I guess U-Turn, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, and Poison Jab. Normally, you probably don't run U-Turn on Urshifu, but all of Tiller's team is slower than Urshifu, so or U-turn's fine, I would say, because you get so much momentum on switches because you force them so easily. <laughs> oh, I when I mean wait, this thing is act Tiller's whole team is slower than Urshifu. Uh oh. <laughs> that ain't that's that's not a good look. I I gotta say that that is the opposite of a good look going in but we'll see how it pans out for tiller there hail is here articuno is also here which is funny it looks like danny's got screens but for jester shifu so danny's kind of standing on like thin ice pun pun intended i promise <laughs> but uh I, Danny's standing on thin ice. If her Shifu goes down, unless most of Tiller's team is already dead, it's going to look pretty desperate for Danny to try and pick up kills at that point. Alright. So, instant lead obstacle. Instant lead. Mo Motang. Mutang. Bronzong. Okay, and here's going to be a knockoff. Goodbye, Meowstic. Bye bye <laughs> Well, there's one Pokemon dead. And, um, I'm not surprised. It's like I said, a Pokemon's going to die every time Obstagoon sees the field. And, yep, U-turn, just like I predicted as well. Straight into Mutang. Hard switch into Melmetal. On the sub... It's looking kind of nasty. Earthquake does just enough to break a sub. Yeah. 
But if submel metal is submel metal, then this is what I think it is. Uh oh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> is is bronze on also iron defense because they both have body press. That is not breaking a sub ever. I suppose a crit here could just kill Melmetal, but fishing for crits, which is weird. Sub does that. <laughs> and let's see, what does Melmetal opt to go for? Earthquake's just going to damage the sub unless it crits. Body press breaks sub. And let's see what Bronze Long decides to do. It decides to switch. On the body press. Body press to 74 to Swampert. Okay, Rocky Helmet. Very big. Earthquake fades the sub. Body press finishes off Swampert. Rocky Helmet's going to put Mel Metal in range for pretty much anything. Wicked Blow will kill even. In comes Sylveon. In co and in comes Venelux. Mystical Fire does 47%. I think maybe Articuno comes in just so you can't get frozen. Can Ice Types get frozen? Hyper Voice kills anyways, but can Ice Types get... Wait, how is that faster? What type of speed investment type... What? <laughs> oh. Hello, Offensive Sylveon that is not Choice Spexed. And that did a ton. <laughs> Woodhammer almost just one hit KOs. In comes Sand Slash on the Aurora Veil. I don't know why you don't go for just Woodhammer until you win. Like, Woodhammer to win. Ooh, Steel Roller. That's cool. I'm. That's interesting. It's like the first time I've ever seen someone use Steel Roller in my entire life. <laughs> Like outs <laughs> Earthquake does zero. Wait, does it 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 doesn't do less than zero because I think this is a choice band. I said thirty. Dude, calm down. It's <sighs> that breaks sub behind Aurora Veil against a bronze on. Well, I mean <laughs> Does that have gyro ball? Yeah, it did nothing anyway. <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> Tapu Bulu. About to get wood hammered again. Say goodbye. How many PP? Oh, it has 24. Sorry. Some, you're about to get wood hammered to death. This is going to poison jab. Or wicked blow, I guess it could do either. Your turn's out. Into Sylveon. Sylveon's gonna go for. Since you know this is, you could probably go for Hyper Voice. Oh, not, not big. Whatever. Uh, Mystical Fire is probably the safe play either way. So, yeah. Protect comes off. What is this gonna go for? Trick Room. Well, at that moment, he knew. <laughs> yeah, it, I don't know how much it's gonna matter because this is. Still Sylveon. And the rest of this team looks pretty fast. So, yeah. Wish Protect comes off on the Dazzling Gleam. Trick Room's almost stalled. I feel like Danny would have wanted to capitalize on the Trick Room because the only thing really stopping him was Sand Slash. And Sand Slash has no way to kill Bronzong, so Bronzong gets a free switch. So in comes Sand Slash on the Hyper Voice. Takes 45%. Mystical Fire kills, and this is an offensive Sylveon. Does some knock? Triple Axle does 6, 12, or 10, 17. Not quite a kill. Life Orb takes away 10% from Sand Slash. Triple Axle will kill as so long as the third hit connects. Yep. And that is the end of Mutang. In comes Urshifu. Close combat's gonna finish off the thing. 
I feel like you probably could have gone for Wicked Blow. Wicked Blow would kill from here. <laughs> Ooh, that's really tough. Woodhammer. Or Horn Loop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. Fine. Just just use Horn Leech. That's okay. Is that Woodhammer? I think it does have Woodhammer. Yeah, it's gonna Woodhammer. Or Horn. Horn Leech would kill. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm, yes, today I will be Choice Banded Tapu Bulu. <sighs> okay, so honestly, I don't think Danny was prepared for the offense that came. I probably, I don't even know. Did, Danny had Arcanine this whole time. I don't know why you don't bring Arcanine. Arcanine has special moves. Hmm. What does Tiller have that could really... Dissuade Arcanine. I guess. I don't know why Arcanine didn't come, to be honest. And, like, Articuno died to Woodhammer. And Intimidate, Arcanine kind of just went like. Oh, you, you, you die now. He, you're sad. And, yeah, look look at the amount of fire resists on this team. I, I see a ton of fire resists. <laughs> Zero fire resists, so. I feel like missing Arcanine was kind of a big whiff by Danny, but... Oh, otherwise, I think this team was really strong. It, it even, even without Arcanine, three Pokemon died, and this, come, this thing came damn close to dying like five bajillion times. So, yeah. I think if Arcanine came, Danny had all the shot in the world to take that game. But... <laughs> That's unfortunate, and it, it is the way it is. So good, good job on Tiller for capitalizing, and I'll see you in the next one.